In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure an Open Nebula Cloud with vSphere after downloading the V1 Cloud appliance. Today, we're going to have a quick overview of Sunstone. This is Open Nebula's GUI. We'll import your existing VMware clusters, data stores, networks, and templates. We'll build a virtual machine using your imported resources and import an existing VM that's already running in vCenter. First off, let's browse to the Infrastructure tab and click on Hosts. Here, we're going to import our vCenter cluster as a host inside of Open Nebula. If you click on the plus button, select VMware vCenter, input your host name or IP address, your username and your password of your vCenter environment. Get clusters. Open Nebula will poll your vCenter instance and provide a list of clusters that are able to be imported. Select your desired clusters and click Import. We can now see that the cluster has been imported successfully. And Open Nebula has created a cluster here as well. We can now click into our newly imported host and view all kinds of information about the environment such as usage statistics, any kind of running VMs already, NSX details, details on any resource pools, the underlying ESXi hosts, and any wild VMs. Now these, these wild VMs are virtual machines that are present in vCenter already, but have not been imported into Open Nebula just yet. We will come back later on this. Now let's click on the Storage tab and go to Data Stores. Here we will import our existing data store from vCenter and enable it to be used within Open Nebula. Select the cluster that we imported previously and click on Get Data Stores. Select the data stores and then click Import. In just a few moments you will see that a system and an image data store has been created within Open Nebula. Next, click on the Network tab and select Virtual Networks. In this section, we can import and create networks to be used by VMs and applications within Open Nebula. To start off with, let's import an existing network. Select the vCenter cluster and click on Get Networks. Choose your required networks and then click Import. In just a few moments, Refresh the page and you'll be able to see that the network has been imported into Open Nebula. You can see all of the details on the network by clicking into it. Now let's see how Open Nebula can create vCenter networks as well. Open Nebula can support vCenter networking by using standard or distributed switches, as well as support for both NSXV and NSXT back networks. Another great feature is the ability to create network templates. This allows your end users to self-provision networks within vCenter based on the parameters that you set here. Now let's import a virtual machine template from vCenter into Open Nebula. Go to the Templates tab and click on VMs. Select your vCenter cluster and then click on Get Templates. Select the templates you wish to import Click the import button, and in just a few moments, you'll be able to see that it's now present inside of Open Nebula. Open Nebula allows you to customize your templates very easily. By clicking into your newly imported template, you can edit the parameters here. Here, I'm fixing the CPU values so they're not customizable during the deployment of a VM, and also allowing you to select how much RAM from a range of values. There are many other customization options available here, such as scheduled actions, pricing, and Open Nebula contextualization that will come in useful when setting up your own templates. Now, let's build a VM from our template. Click on the Instantiate button, and you will see all of the customization parameters that are available. Quickly type in a name of your virtual machine, and then click the Instantiate button. If you then click on the Instances tab and then on VMs, you can see that our VM is currently in the boot status. After just a few moments, a quick refresh and you can see that the virtual machine is now online. 
Now let's take a look at some of the properties and actions that you can do to a virtual machine in Open Nebula. You can open up a remote console via VMRC, the Open Nebula proxies through our FireEdge interface, allowing you access to a fast, responsive console without needing to download any third-party applications. Open Nebula also shows you performance metrics for all resources in the virtual machine, for storage, CPU and RAM. You can also take snapshots, as well as reverting from and deleting them, the ability to schedule actions on a certain date or time, as well as periodically, and much, much more. Finally, let's go back to the host and check out the wild VMs. Select the existing VM that you wish to manage from within Open Nebula, and then click Import. In just a few seconds, you will see the VM that is now present under the Instances tab. Thank you for watching.